Hey everyone, so this will be a quick review on the Aquion Quiet Flow Shrimp version. I have the Quiet Flow 10 shrimp here. Uh, what makes it the shrimp version is hopefully you guys can see it okay. Uh, there is the pre filter, and what that does is prevents small fish, uh, baby fish, or shrimp from getting sucked into it, especially baby shrimp, from getting sucked into the filter and getting killed that way. Uh, this they will not get sucked into and there's my beta my glow fish beta uh, uh, They will not get sucked into the filter, uh, which is of course a good thing. That, that's what makes it the shrimp version And then this is internal as well as you can see here The being internal is actually pretty nice that way it's not hanging out of your tank uh, But it does take up a bit more room in the tank as you can see here and uh, it does kind of makes your tank not look as nice, but at least it's not sticking out of the back. I mean, some people prefer, prefer hang on backs, other people prefer uh, internals. I don't mind either of them, but I do kind of like this. Uh, now I'm sure you guys can hear this. Hopefully you guys can hear this. This thing makes horrible noises. Um, I've had this up for, well, this entire tank, which is the Aquion shrimp seven and a half gallon tank well which came with this filter i've had this up for maybe four months or so four or five months and within that time this has now gone on twice this has now happened twice it happened a couple of months ago where it just starts making this horrible noise and last time i just took it apart i cleaned it i cleaned everything i could clean pretty much and it fixed it for like a month or two and now it's making it again. I have to do the same thing. Uh, it's just kind of annoying. When I did take it apart, I saw really nothing wrong with it. I mean, there's nothing crazy dirty. There's nothing lodged in any any parts of this filter. Uh, but it was making this horrible noise, and I quit when I took it apart. So I guess just be aware that yours might start making a whole bunch of noise. Uh, mine is like four feet away, five feet away from my bed. Uh, so I've actually been unplugging it until I can get the chance to take it apart uh, at night time. Uh, which is probably not the best thing to do, but uh, the good, the bacteria that lives in there should be able to survive 2-3 days without the filter being on. So there shouldn't be any harm in doing that. It just isn't really good to be unplugging your filter. Anyway, that is not the point of this video. Oh yeah, so it does make this horrible noise. You have to take it apart clean it, put it back together, and it seems to stop. Uh, I've never had an another filter do this. I don't know why this does it. I mean, I've had other Aquion filters in the past, uh, but this one does that for some reason. Maybe it's just mine, uh, but it's something to take note of. Now, it does, a, it does do a pretty good job. Let me show you guys here. It is decently dirty. Uh, again, I do need to clean this. You know, it just takes the standard Aquion uh, cartridges there, which it just has the filter floss and the carbon uh, on the inside. The back here is your biological media, uh, which is a, again, just a sponge. It also has the front here for more biological uh, bacteria growth as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, then, of course, I showed you this is where it takes in the water from the tank. And again, there is a pre-filter on there, which will also help clean the tank a little bit better as well as prevent fish, uh, baby fish, and shrimp from getting sucked into there. Uh, and then, of course, it comes up and through, and it comes back out there. Um, when it is not making this noise, it is actually very, very quiet, like the name implies, quiet flow. I will say it is actually very quiet in that respect. Um, just not when it has this issue where it's making this gurgling noise. Now for flow rate, it's actually hard to find any information on this, at least from my research. Uh, but going off of the normal hang on back quiet flow 10, they, those do 100 gallons per hour. And then the big ones I believe do 125 gallons per hour. If my research is correct on that. Uh, so I'm going to guess this is pretty similar to that same flow rate. Uh, I will say, I'll put this back on real fast. Uh, at least in the, in the seven and a half gallon tank, and this is the Quiet Flow 10. It's not bad. 
Uh, again, I have my beta in here. Uh, see there? And she's not disturbed by it whatsoever. And you can see she just swims around. Uh, so, in this tank, at least, it does a good job. Again, it does. It keeps it nice and clean. The flow rate is not too strong whatsoever for betas, which is always a plus in my book. And, yeah, it just, for some reason, it gets noisy every now and then. You have to take it apart and then put it back together. Uh, I mean, that only takes, you know, five, ten minutes or whatever to clean it. Um, but it still is something that's kind of annoying. It's actually rather annoying. Uh, when usually, I might have said I've never had a filter have this issue before. Uh, again, maybe it's just mine. Maybe mine's just a fluke. But, yeah, just something to take note of. Uh, otherwise, I do like the filter. I mean, it seems like a decent filter. Um, yeah, like I said it doesn't take up too much room in the tank. But it being an internal, it does take up more room than a hang on back would inside the tank itself. Alright, hopefully that was somewhat helpful to you guys. If you guys uh, have any, uh, let me know what you guys think of this filter. Uh, I know on Amazon it did not get the best of reviews. I think it only got like three and a half stars, something like that. Um, but besides from being noisy, like I keep on saying, I don't really have any issues with them. Uh, nor have I had any, really any issues with Aquion filters in the past. Or tanks, for that matter. Uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and see you all next time. Goodbye.